Hey bros and broettes, this is just a quick update. I just kind of threw together these clips of my uh, greenhouse I was working on and whatnot. So, hope you guys watch it, hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for dropping by. Cheers. So here I'm just taking you guys through to see where I started all this. I had a different smaller garden in a different area, but uh, it wasn't all that productive. A lot of red clay. Oh, there's some parsnips that were still left in the soil from last year. But I started to notice that there were the shape of the mounds were showing up, and I guess these used to be potato mounds. They were grown in about 50 years ago, so I decided to start switching my gardening area over here, taking everything from the small garden and putting it to this little area I call the homestead area. So yeah, you guys can see what I started with. Last year, that's where I started all my ever-bearing strawberries, and then I put that weed guard to keep the weeds down. Now I'm going to go over and mulch it all through, so here it is. Oh yeah, bring it on. Well, here's the progress so far. Battery died, so charging up both my batteries now. I got my post drove in there. Keeping an eye out on the bay because the ice is melting real quick. Gonna be able to cast for a sea trout, I'd say, by Sunday. Taking the spare soil and matting it over these. These are gonna get covered with mulch when the mulch goes on sale next Thursday. So, yeah, just picking out this for my Friday. Can't wait to grab some beer. She's not the prettiest, but then again, Look at the guy who made her. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna keep picking at this stuff now and have no fear. It's about time to crack a beer. All right. Day two, just been sorting through this bed, weeding her out. Just finished getting this first part coming. Oh, my voice probably sounds funny. I got a beer by my lip. All right. Got these pinned off with the conduit. Just drilled through, secured that. Had to make up my own little thing there because, uh, Where's the piece that broke? Face shield for my grinder, safety first. Look at that. That's what I thought I was gonna use. Yeah, I know, I'm a bit stunned. Anyways, neighbor gave me the file to sand off all my edges when I cut my pipe. So yeah, I'm just picking at her. Day two. Don't call her a day, it is a Saturday and we don't work on Sundays around here. All right. Oh yeah, water's still in open on the bay. Getting close though. Can't wait to can't wait to try for a fresh saltwater sea trout. I 
I figured I should take a video, <laughs> see how far I'm getting with this so far. Just got all this done. I'll double up all that uh, strap banding after. So that's holding her up top. Yeah. So far, so good for one man show. <laughs> all right, let's get back at her. Trying to secure this to the best of my abilities. Throw a few posts down there, getting everything all screwed in and tied in, but just run around three hours of work so far, so it's not bad. It's pretty good. But yeah, that's that. And here are my wild strawberries that I dug out of the forest. I went around years ago when I first moved back and tried to find the biggest wild strawberry plants I could find. Planted them down here. <laughs> A big old rose bush. But yeah, they've grown really nice. They make these really small strawberries that taste almost like cotton candy. Really awesome. So check out the progression. A few weeks later. All my strawberries are out in full bloom. Bees are going nuts on those. These are all ever-bearing pink fragus. This was my anomaly. What a cool color, hey? It's supposed to be the same kind as all these. But for some reason, this one blooms a lot brighter pink. It's like a little rose bush. Spreading out. Hopefully over the next few years, this whole mound will just be covered in ever-bearing strawberries. Greenhouse is done. Pollinator, securator. Made all my own little clips here. This is one inch PVC that I bought inch and a quarter. Just made these slide on clips. So that's done. Box is coming along great. Radishes, lettuce, kale, Swiss chard, Brussels sprouts. Along great. The rhubarb. <laughs> I took I used to have a little different garden, so I've been moving everything to this one area and designating this, calling it my little homestead area. So got all the strawberries, my raised beds, rhubarb. Uh, I moved my golden raspberry plants over. I got another one. Now I'll show you guys the greenhouse. All the plants inside there I grew from seed throughout the winter. Here's my door. <laughs> I just put a pipe in the stick to get ventilation dur during the day. My composter is slightly uphill so all the nutrients runs down and runs downhill. Another golden raspberry plant. Bunch of soil. <laughs> so here's all my hot peppers, habaneros and chilies. Grew all those from seed. Here's all my tomato plants. Grew all these from seed. They're running string from down there up to the top. As they grow, they'll be uh, intertwined around that. Let's drop in here now. Beautiful. Can't believe I was growing these in my window <laughs> for so long. So that's good. This is my uh, real worm box soil. There's a lot of worms in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you guys this, but that's where I get all my nice healthy springtails. If I could close up, you'd see all these tiny little bugs. They're called springtails. They're really good for the soil. Every time I put my soil out, I add a few handfuls of this. It usually has a few nice little baby worms and little springtails, but yeah. So, I'm going to be leaving here in eight days to go to work out in Alberta. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I'm going to be gone for. I'm going to be gone for minimum full summer. 
but most likely I'll be getting on a rig towards the end of the summer and I'll probably be out there all the way till next spring. So my parents will be here to look over all this stuff. It is what it is. <laughs> so as long as they can just remember to come and add water, they're going to have no shortage of uh, fresh leafy greens and uh, tomatoes and peppers. <laughs> so yeah, I think this has been a great progression. Everything's been done slowly but surely, but she's coming along awesome now. When I load up the old bank account again, I'll be able to come back, <laughs> relax, and continue expanding because I've got pretty much just shy of a full acre that goes all the way back there and that needs to be all cleared out for my uh, new smaller home. So yeah, everything costs money, everything takes time, one day at a time. That's it, that's my little garden update, getting ready to head out to work and get a leave my little paradise and go catch up with some of the homies back in Alberta. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching this guys. Cheers. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure to show off my Japanese plum trees. <laughs> this one's not blooming as much as the one over there, but my gosh, do they ever smell nice. Eventually one day, I'm gonna have a lot more trees than this, but that'll be when I clear the land up back there and I want to start from scratch starting at the very back end and working my way down and then I want to just kind of hand over this part of land to my parents for their somewhat early retirement you know what I mean so yeah thanks for watching guys